What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com today with another ROM and a flash review. Today we'll be talking about Andromeda 2.0, that's the themed version. This is the uh, first ROM that we've seen from Team Komen and um, they're calling it Andromeda. We've gone ahead and flashed the themed version so let's go ahead and get it powered up and give you a look at what it's going to be like. And obviously we see the AT&T World screen to start with, followed by the Team Komen uh, Andromeda screen. So they've taken the uh, you know the uh, the kernel boot screen and kind of replaced it with one of their own. So it's the first time I've really seen that. So I think it's pretty cool. It gives you something else to look at. And then we go straight into a an orange looking Milky Way Galaxy type of uh, boot animation. The ROM obviously supports boot animation not zip as many ROMs do. Uh, the uh, kernel is built on the Ursa Minor Armani source, as well as the ROM using the JL1 Armani uh, build. Um, so that's from the uh, GT9010. Uh, so we've gotten that now on the Captivate. The only applications that we've added are Linpack, Nanomark, Neocore, and Quadrant along with Advanced Task Killer for our scores and to review how much RAM is available out of the box. So we've got the Media Scanner running, Media Scanner completed. So let's see what we have to work with. So right out of the box, 204 uh, megabytes of memory available. Not too bad. Um, Obviously, we've got the themed TouchWiz on the 2.0. This is the orange themed version. We've got themed icons throughout and an orange flavor throughout as well. So get used to seeing that. I didn't think I would like the orange, but to be honest, it really did grow on me, and I do like it very much. So you may want to give the themed version a shot, and if you don't like it, just flash back. So this is sporting the G's GPS fix. It is very fast at locking GPS um, within seconds practically. Ad blocking is built in through a, an advanced host file. Uh, lag fix is also built in, Voodoo lag fix. You've got lag fix control here. And uh, you may want to check this. Uh, out of the box, mine was disabled, so I had to enable it and reboot. So make sure yours is enabled uh, for best performance. Uh, I'd recommend that you do that. Um, also, this ROM is sporting the hacked camera, so we'd be able to actually take a picture with the power button. Now I have found on this hack camera that the home button will not function correctly after you take a picture, so you will need to use the back button to get back. Not a big deal, uh, but I just wanted to point this out to developers to see if they could work on that to get that fixed. But like I said, the back button works just as well to go home. Um, in addition to this, the Wi-Fi camera drivers have been sourced from the JPX build. Uh, Wi-Fi does lock much, much faster. Um, it locks quite a bit faster, so I just turned Wi-Fi on and uh, boom, locked. So that's actually quite a bit faster than what I'm used to seeing. I, I normally see a, a almost double that. It's normally like a three to four second delay instead of a one to two second delay. So uh, I believe there's a lot to a lot to work on there for the JPX uh, Wi-Fi drivers. I think there's a lot to uh, to use there for developers. Uh, if you can use those, I'd probably recommend that. Uh, you may also see a little bit of battery battery life uh, by using that as well. So in addition to what we've talked about, Voodoo Sound is uh, enabled on this phone and it is noticeably louder. Uh, the sounds in general are going to be quite a bit louder. I've noticed that if we were to go to a sound such as a, uh, uh, let's make sure our volume's all the way up first. Um, let's turn up the media volume. Let's just turn it all the way up, everything. So, Also, in the sound we now have our Thai incoming call to notifications volume. That's fantastic. I really do like that, and I'm glad to see that back. So, if we were to go to, uh, let's go ahead and play the Andro Meta theme. It's obviously quite a bit louder. That's not even the loudest theme to play. Uh, like if you ever played Blurt Burger. Now, you probably can't tell that on the phone side, but it actually is much, much louder, and uh, it's definitely noticeable. So, we appreciate the Voodoo sound and uh, Super Curio's work on the lag fix as well. So. Uh, really do appreciate that. So, uh, Some of the theming that I'd like to show off uh, would be on the dialer. We've obviously got the awesome looking dialer. Uh, it's been kind of degridded. Uh, it's got some sounds to it as well. And uh, everything has a general black slash orange theme to it. Um, also SMS has been themed. So if we were to go into messaging, we could see that it's been themed as well. And we've got the black and orange and white swipe that we've been seeing. So that's actually a pretty cool touch. So um, I really do like to see that in the ROM. So I'm really, really feeling the orange. I changed my uh, backdrop to one of the default ones that they included with the traffic and it looks really cool on my personal phone. So uh, you should definitely try out the themed version. 
Um, swipe and market. Uh, swipe obviously is themed. Market is also themed. Uh, I wanted to point out that I did lose uh, my theming. It upgraded my market, and I can't show you this right now because I'm not logged in with my Google account. But marketing is themed with the black and orange out of the box. However, mine did update, and I did lose it. Um, not that big of a deal. I just wanted to point that out. I don't know if anyone else had experienced that. Um, backlight notification is natively supported by this kernel, and it supports Neldar's backlight notification system. So you'll already have uh, the BLN uh, out of the box, and they use BLN control for that. So um, you'll see that right out of the box, so that's pretty cool stuff. Um, it also supports Guardian Bob's uh, APK for keep the lights on. So you can see that lights are off, turn the screen on, and unlock, and they come right back on. So that's something cool to see. Um, right out of the box, you're probably going to have to turn that on. You'll probably need to go to keep the lights on and uh, make sure the service starts like that. I actually don't think I had mine started, so off, on, and there you go. So in case anyone was wondering why it didn't happen the first time, I just ROM this phone and I hadn't enabled the service. So it actually works very well. And uh, you guys check out Guardian Bob's APK. It's in the market now, and I highly recommend that you go with the donate version. Um, maybe some uh, some extended features to be added in the future, but uh, it's a tremendous breakthrough for the i9000 based ROMs and the uh, you know the GT9010 ROMs that use that uh, particular functionality, and we really appreciate it. So check out Guardian Bob's app in the market, and uh, I recommend the donate version. So. Uh, some of the other things that this ROM sports are native tune support. Now this means that for you VPN users, you're going to have native tune support out of the box. So SSL VPN users will already have that. There's no need to load a tune module into the system directory and launch that module before you remote desktop. You're already going to have that by default. So that's something really cool to see for people like myself. Um, we saw this as well in the Firebird kernel uh, from Design Gears. So uh, really glad to see some native tune support going on. In, uh, in these ROMs. So we've kind of went over everything and reviewed about everything that we want to show before our test. So let's go ahead and let you guys take a breather and I'm going to set up our test. So I'll see you in just a second. Okay, we are back and ready for some scores. We'll do an advanced task kill to get everything caught up and run our LIN pack. Yeah, I'm going to set the phone down and do a zoom. Okay, so we saw a 13.83 out of the box. We'll run it one more time. And a 14.0, so 14s for our LIN pack. Go ahead and kill this again and run a Netamark. We'll go run on that. Okay. 50 flat for the Nenomark. So we'll go ahead and go back, do an advanced task kill, set up for our Neocore. Okay, so a 55.6 for our Neocore, and we're going to go ahead and do one more, and that's going to be our Quadrant. Now, I have seen problems like what I just saw with Quadrant, and then said I got a Force Close, 
it's not a big deal. I'm not running the latest version. On my personal phone, I found that running the latest version fixed that. So I have seen some reports of that and I have experienced that myself. So don't blame the developers, blame Quadrant because obviously the newest version has zero problems. And this is a titanium backup restored version that's actually a little older. So that is totally not ROM related. So, But I did want to square up with some of you guys that are saying you have that problem. It's not the ROM. It's the older version of Quadrant. Upgrade Quadrant and then report back and let me know how you feel. Now previously I saw scores of above 1500 which put us at the high range on uh, the device scale. So we'll see what we get now. It's too bad there's not any sound with Quadrant. I was really enjoying that voodoo sound. Okay, on the home stretch now with our Jupiter. Okay, and let's go ahead and proceed to our results. Okay, and a 1496, so practically a 1500. I saw 1500s earlier, so that's actually really good. So, uh, in closing, I wanted to talk about some of the known issues, and those are the headset button problems. Uh, there's a fix coming for that. And also, you can't view the IMEI. Uh, it's not that big of a deal, but some people uh, may find this out, so I'd rather just show you. If you tried to do this, you'd get a force close. So you can't currently show yourself the IMEI, and I'm sure the developers are working on what's up with that. But actually not that big of a deal, because at this point, who really cares? I mean, you can see your IMEI on the back of the phone if you want to see it. Not that big of a deal. So we've done our scores. We've talked about everything. We've discussed the ultra-fast uh, snappiness out of this. I'm running it on my personal phone with over 125 apps and it is seriously just as fast as straight out of the box and I'm really impressed with that as I've always been able to uh, kind of slug these things down and this ROM has hang, hung in there really well so I'm really impressed with that. So I want to go ahead and show you guys the shutdown animation. It's pretty cool. It's a CRT based animation and you get the double shutdown with the Andrew Media fade out and uh, from there the screen will stay temporarily lit with the capacitor buttons and those will turn off once the phone is off. So that is Andro Meta 2.0 from uh, Team Komen. This has been a ROM and a Flash review by MobileTechVideos.com and uh, I do appreciate your subscriptions. We've currently reached over 120,000 views now on the channel with over 500 subscribers and we are now averaging probably a little over 200,000 views a month and uh, I can't thank you enough. Uh, as I've mentioned, I'm shooting for that YouTube partnership that will help me kind of uh, fund the site a little bit uh, through uh, the AdSense program and it'll kind of help me pay for uh, the web hosting and whatnot. So donations are greatly supported, I mean, uh, greatly appreciated and um, subscriptions are greatly appreciated as well. Please take time to donate to Team Coleman if you enjoyed this. Um, I know they'll appreciate it and a lot of work goes into these ROMs. So support your developer, Always support the ROM developer. They put lots of time and effort into this, and uh, your donations really do make a difference for them. It gives them a reason to develop, other than the fact they just love to help and love to produce cool, cool stuff. So, um, anyways, thanks for watching, and if you're ready to flash, good luck.